Go on, Nichiro Mina, this is T Sakura. You're watching with Tommy Files. Today, I'm going to be doing a game from DOS. The game is called Shariki. This is a Russian based game. And when I start to play, you guys will see what, why I decided to do this. Um, mainly, I was looking at something and deciding I'll look at the, you know, are the originals and as you can see right away what does this look like this looks like the infamous bejeweled now, after looking at different uh, things on Wikipedia I found this to be the actual original version and uh, the game itself it literally translated into English is the balls and I think I think it's pretty cool to go and look at some of the older stuff. So yeah, let's see if I can actually get it to where there is no more matches. Already, I'm enjoying the simplicity of the original. You know, you got your points going on up there, and from there, you know, get to enjoy yourself. However, I did not look to see if this is actually from the creators of Tetris or not. And there we go. I ran out of different things. So when you mess up, you get a type of face. So there we am. All right, so let's try this again. Hopefully this time. I won't mess up like that. It's <laughs> it's definitely slow, but that's what's that's not important when it comes to playing the older games. Ooh, here comes a combo. Let's see if it gives me extra points for combos. It gave me five points. I know right away, you know, as soon as I said that, some people were probably arguing the point, no, speed is everything in a game. It's like, no, it's not. And if you're like, well, the name a game that is slow, that has, like, the top-notch graphics and blah, 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 blah. All right. C-I-S, or N-C-I-S. Uh, L.A. Noir. And already I know I have at least one person. L.A. Noir is not that slow. Now if you have your player's guide. Okay. Try being in that game without a player's guide. Within the six hour period that it would take you. With the player's guide. Well, that's definitely a better score. Yeah, I definitely better score. I did way better this time. Alright, once more. I guess I'm only saying that just because, um... I did have at least one of those fun experiment, you know, experiences when I was at work where, you know, had a young boy returning a game for the PlayStation 2 and the game of course is out on several different systems especially the newer systems and when I asked him well what's the problem with the game his only response he could give me was the graphics suck it's like right and I just look at him and just go you know you have a PlayStation 2 the graphics are gonna suck compared to the the, the uh, 360 or the PlayStation 3. If you only think the games suck because of the graphics, then you're gonna miss out on some of the some of the best games released for that uh, you know that series of systems because it's a last gen system. I just kind of you know 
found that to be really funny that you know <laughs> some people really take the the older stuff for granted I do know I also was talking with one person that when it came down to it they would rather stick with the PlayStation 2 just because of their, what they're saying that games nowadays have lost the touch which is true because you know it's just how it goes I mean there's so much missing from games like a face sticking a tongue at you you know you don't get that very often anymore so it is something very important to always remember enjoy video games because sometimes the older ones are definitely better like this you know yeah I do have Bejeweled on my PlayStation 3 um, I do play the Sailor Moon version on uh, the Super Famicom which I really enjoy um, I like my Puzzle Quest on my PSP or Galaxy Quest on my PS3 but well, really when it comes down to it it's just so much fun to play the original and see you know this slow moving game from Russia inspired some of the uh, most known games that are out today Russia definitely does it again and I'm not surprised to find out that Bejeweled was inspired by a Russian game since Tetris was Russian and changed the world. So, yeah, I mean, that's what makes it fun. In the end, this is a game I'm going to keep and continue to play on DOS. Yes, without a doubt. Um... Now, I'd definitely give this one high marks just because it's so simplified and just absolutely fantastic for being a game that came out you know in the early 90s so I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy what I you know just enjoy this game so hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this video Definitely a blast from the past for everybody can see the original. This is Tisa Grid saying ciao and sayonara.